What are we actually dealing with when we talk about the connected kitchen? It's not really uh, fixed because you have a connected kitchen, but you have to ask yourself for who and for what. With a connected kitchen, the information is shared with the rest of the world. Either the owner of the kitchen or the who is running the kitchen or who is running the business. The share of information with other users that are interested in this. What you need this information, you can collect what you need it for, for HACCP, for security, food safety, for logging data, you know. Right now, yes, we're collecting and logging HACCP data. Let's use that as the example. The only time we're looking at that HACCP data is when there's a problem. And we've got a lot of things to collect data, and that's great. The next wave of this is making those pieces of data from different places, different manufacturers come together and have software and analytics above that that, that makes something meaningful and tangible out of that. What are the potential benefits to operators? No, benefits are as, uh, definitely in food safety more efficiency, energy efficiency. If somebody keeps the door from the walk-in fridge open for a long time, you see it and the temperature drop and then you can put an alarm. So it's saving a lot of money. If we saw there is a middle beast stand, somebody who developed a software for uh, energy and everything, but it's not friendly use. You have to be engineer to use that. And yeah. so I think there's a lot of work to do and it's not tomorrow. We're going to have yeah. the solution. I think this connected kitchen system is uh, useful for all kinds of restaurants or kitchens. So because you as an operator has to define what you want to do with that. We can track the temperature in a walk-in. We can track individual temperatures on things and know when there's a problem. What we can't do is look at everything and how that connects together. And I think that's the point. That's the missing link. What, what Joe was saying is absolutely right, but we need time as a manufacturers to, <laughs> because we need to get all these data, put them together, and what are uh, the, the information coming from different uh, equipment, and then see what can be achieved. From the food service operator's um, perspective, obviously we haven't mentioned money, but it, it is a sizable investment, especially when it's something that's so new. I mean, when we're building these kitchens, it's not, it doesn't cost much to run a, a low voltage Cat5, Cat6 Z cable, right? The cost of the hard infrastructure is nothing. It's the cost of the ongoing software. And I think, you know, realistically, with cloud software and some of these solutions and things, and that it's getting a lot cheaper to analyze data. I guess looking ahead then, I mean, what, where, where do you see this going? How fast is it moving? How soon are we going to get to the connected kitchen? Yeah, what you want to do with the data, which data are relevant for you. So well, that is what you need to find out, you know, software, hardware, everything is there. I do think in the next three to five years we'll see amazing progress on this, um, but it is going to take some, probably some outsiders to come in and do things that we're not thinking about yet on the analytics side and the collection side. <laughs>